In this video, we'll be discussing about the anatomy of ear, its structure and some basic functions. Here in this diagram, we have the outer look of ear without the internal anatomy. This part is the outer ear that has been highlighted here, which includes the external portion of the ear. That includes the fleshy visible pinna, also called the auricle, and the ear canal, aka auditory canal, that ends at the eardrum. Now let's get to the internal anatomy. First of all, we have the eustachian tube, aka pharyngotympanic tube. This tube links the nasopharynx to the middle ear. Then we have the malleus bone. This malleus is connected with tympanic membrane on one side shown in the diagram, and on the other side it's connected with the incus bone that has been shown in the diagram. Furthermore, this incus is connected with the stapes bone. And finally, this stapes bone is connected to the oval window by its annular ligament. So we can say this stapes bone communicates with inner ear through oval window. Now we have the cochlea, which is fluid filled structure, and it has got semicircular canals as shown in the diagram. And these semicircular canals are connected with vestibular nerve, and the cochlea is connected by cochlear nerve. It must be noted that mammalian cochlea has the organ of corti. Precisely, it is located in the scala media of the cochlea of inner ear, between the vestibular duct and the tympanic duct, and is composed of mechanosensory cells known as hair cells. Now, if we see briefly how sound waves travel and what are these bones and other structures for, we see the sound travels through auditory canal that first of all hits the tympanic membrane which causes it to vibrate. So this way sound waves are transmitted from outer ear to inner ear towards the ossicles. The first ossicle to receive the sound wave is the malleus bone. It transmits the sound vibrations from eardrum to the incus. And this incus then transmits vibrations to the stapes, which ultimately sends the sound energy to the inner ear through oval window. So all the sound vibrations or the energy gets into the cochlea through oval window and we know this cochlea is filled with watery liquid that is the endolymph so we can say when the sound gets into the cochlea through oval window the fluid moves and this fluid movement in turn causes the movement in the cochlear partition that has the organ of corti these vibrations or the sound energy are censored by the hair cells via the stereocilia and convert that motion to the electrical signals that are communicated via neurotransmitters to many thousands of nerve cells. And that way we hear the stuff around. So this is the simple working of ear and its anatomy. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.